Hello friends, welcome to my channel Shisa's Crochet. In this tutorial, we are going to see how to crochet this beautiful and easy hat for the child size. Using this pattern, you can crochet any size of the project. The measurement and all I have explained in this tutorial. Please watch the tutorial till the end of this video. And if you want to know the sizes for different uh, age group, I will give the link below in the description box. You can just go through that. It's a good project for the beginners. I took only one hour to finish this uh, hat completely. To make the pom pom, I'll give the link below in the description box. You can uh, check it. And uh, the yarns which I used here is 100% acrylic DK media. So let's start our project. For this project, I'm going to use here two colors of yarn. One is light brown, and this is darkest blue. The hook size which I'm going to use is 4 mm hook size. You need to have a pair of scissors and the measuring tape. We'll start this project with the slip knot. And I'm going to make chain 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 30. Now, Let's make into the very first chain a single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, and into the last we'll make one single crochet. So he here we got 12 single crochet stitches. Now let's turn the project for the second round. Let's find the first single crochet it's here into the back loop we'll make one single crochet and into the second we'll make one single crochet back loop two three four and the last one into this 12 single crochet into the back loop now turn the project again into the same chain We'll make one back loop single crochet and then into each single crochet we are going to make back loop single crochet we'll have 12 single crochet stitches in each row we are going to continue the same pattern till we get our desired length for the brim so here i have finished 51 rounds of single crochet stitches into each back loop we had 12 single crochet stitches now it measures 18 inches so we can stretch this up to 10 inches I'm going to make this as I said uh, before for the child size so this is enough if you want you can uh, make one more inches for the circumferences or if you are going to uh, crochet for a small baby or the adult size you can increase the numbers of rows here so that you can adjust the hat size now we are going to do the slip stitch keep this this part like this and take it the other side and we'll insert the hook into the very first chain of this side and then pull this loop through this and then insert the hook under this two loop of next chain and into the insert the hook into the second loop of this side single crochet like this again into the next insert the hook under this two loop and then on the other side insert the hook into the second loop and pull the yarn will make a slip stitch Go under this and then into the second loop of the other side stitch we will make a slip stitch 
same like this we are going to close till the end of this row and then here we have two more stitches let's insert a hook under this and on the other side also into the second loop we'll make a slip stitch into the last let's insert a hook here and then on the other side we'll insert under this two loops we'll close it with the slip stitch chain one and we are going to snip off this yarn So we have joined here, it is not visible as well. Now we are going to take the second color. Now let's insert the hook into the very first stitch, insert the hook and pull the yarn. We are going to make one chain just to secure and we'll make one single crochet here. For this pattern. We must have the chains or the stitches which is multiples of 3. We are moving to the next stitch. This is the first one. Let's make into this bump one single crochet and then here one single crochet. One single crochet. Here we have a line. Here we will make one single crochet and then here it is the bump. Here one single crochet. Inside the hook and make one single crochet. And again in between this and here and this bump so same like this we are going to continue till the end of this row here is the last stitch let's make the slip stitch into this single crochet totally I got here 102 single crochet stitches but the chains should be or the stitches should be multiples of three so what I did is I just did a small adjustment here did the uh, degrees with these two stitches then I made 99 single crochet stitches now we are going to start the pattern for that let's make three chain one two three yarn over we'll skip the next um, single crochet and to the next we'll make one double crochet and then yarn over and to the next we'll make one double crochet then yarn over here is the uh, stitch which we skipped so we, i'm going to make here a double crochet yarn over we'll skip the next single crochet and to the second we'll make one double crochet again and to the second we'll make one double crochet and then yarn over we'll come to this uh, skipped single crochet inside the hook and we'll make one more double crochet yarn over we'll skip the next and to the second we'll make one double crochet and then again yarn over and to the next we'll make one more double crochet yarn over here the skipped one we'll make inside one double crochet so we are going to continue same like this till the end of this row and these three chains we will not consider as a double crochet here we have finished our first row now let's do the slip stitch into the very first double crochet not into this three chains we'll make into the very first double crochet again we'll make chain three one two three yarn over we'll skip the next stitch and to the second we'll make here one double crochet and into the next one double crochet yarn over here is the third one and then yarn over skip the next into the second one double crochet into the third one double crochet yarn over into the skipped one we'll make one double crochet so same like this we are going to repeat till the end of this row and then we will continue till we get our desired height for this cap here i have finished 15 rounds of the same pattern and it measures now the height measures 9 inches from here onwards we are going to do the degrees so this is our last stitch Okay, let's make three chain one two three same like before 
and then yarn over here same like before we'll skip this one and to the next we'll make a double crochet yarn over pull through now we got our two loops we are not going to close again yarn over and to the next yarn over pull through we got three loops now hook yarn over pull through now the next double crochet we will do like normal again yarn over skip this one and to this yarn over pull through first two again yarn over pull through the second two yarn over pull through the first two loops now three loops yarn over pull through again yarn over and to this will make one double crochet so we are going to continue the same pattern till the end of this row now we'll do the slip stitch into this first double crochet and then again chain three one two three yarn over into the next stitch here we'll make one double crochet and then yarn over into the next one double crochet into the decrease yarn over into the next one double crochet again yarn over into the next one double crochet two we are not closing this just doing the decrease again yarn over one double crochet into the next one more and close it together so we are going to do the decrease in the same sequence into the next one double crochet don't close it again one more a decrease chain three yarn over we we'll skip the first chain and then into the second we'll make one double crochet but we will not close this yarn over into the first skip to one we'll make one double crochet yarn over pull through the first two and the next three that's a decrease yarn over skip the next into the second one double crochet without closing yarn over come to the first one and we'll make a double crochet so this is how we are going to do in this round skip the next and then come back to this we are doing the decrease let's follow the same sequence till the end of this row so into this last here we are going to make the slip stitch and then we are going to snip off the yarn after leaving little longer yarn to close this top portion i have taken here the needle which is having white eye and then i'm going to thread into this keep the finger like this and we are going to close pass through all these chains in and out now pass this needle through this loop and then we are going to close just pull gently till get closer
do then uh, subtraction so here our hat is ready this is the right side of the hat and the wrong side looks like this we have closed very tightly now we are going to attach a small pom pom on it that I already have made if you want to know how to make the pom pom quickly using the fingers I'll give you the link below in the description box just uh, watch it so you'll be able to do the pom pom using your fingers very quickly here is the pom pom we are going to attach let's divide this yarns into two parts to keep like this we will take the crown portion of the hat and then inside we will insert the hook into this end let's choose the point which is near to this center point and then we will pull this one side strands together to inside same like that just opposite to this we are going to take the other side strand through this now we got two strands inside we are going to tie it here it is we'll tie So here is our hat that is just ready. I hope you all have enjoyed this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, please hit the like button, share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you.